I mean, it, it was just locked in the house. Believe what the telly says and don't question it. Yep. Um, <laughs> I couldn't have lived with myself if I said nothing. Um, and if I had to do the same again, I would. Uh, it was. I believe it was the right thing to do. Uh, and if that meant costing me um, 50% of <laughs> my wages, then so be it. Do you know why? This is why I respect you so much, Matt. I have no idea, mate. Morals over money, man. Morals over money, you know what I mean? You stood your ground, and I do believe you when you said that. If you could do it all over again, I genuinely believe that you would. And you said, I, I mean, you've already said you, you turned down a contract with Chelsea, well, with Chelsea Tottenham for that amount of week. And I just, I'm absolutely shocked. I mean, I'm, the backlash you probably got from it, the abuse you probably got from it, was it just ridiculous? Yeah, I mean, I've taken a lot of stick because of my views, and that's that's fine. so many ideas man um, and the media just you know, do what they do they just try to I think, shut you up and silence you by ridiculing you and mocking you but they they don't make any difference to me I have my beliefs I have my views they're not going to shut me up just because they you know throw the word conspiracy theorist around a little bit the words used so loosely Matt you know it's not a conspiracy when it's fact yeah it's fact and there's one thing I think I've realised since this whole madness history is manipulated yeah we know what the real history was I'm a victim of this unfortunately this, yep. will, this will go down in history Matt. it Absolutely. really will and we will go down in the right side of history I believe but, that but by doing what we do and not backing down mate again this is why I've got them and I've got to say to everybody this man did not have to do this you know he's done it off his own back and every time I've messaged you mate you've always Message me back, and you've always been really good with me. And I, I say I really appreciate that you've came on and you've done this. And no problem at all, mate. It's, you know, I think I think what we have to do for me is, you know, you mentioned divide and conquer. There, we have to come together as as decent human beings to actually look up and see where the problem is. Don't fight amongst ourselves. Yeah. So it's not. You have to be united in who the real enemy is. And unfortunately, the real enemy is your government. Yeah, the government and the mainstream the government media. And the mainstream media, they're all complicit, they're all controlled by the same people. And they're the ones that are causing all the problems. They're the ones that engineer wars, make themselves richer on the back of it. And the sooner people realise that, the, the, the better this world will be because we could, we could run them out of town.